The All Progressives Congress in River State held a Thanksgiving service in Port Harcourt recently. Party faithfuls in their thousands thronged the Adokia Messia Marka Stadium for the two-in-one event. The first part featured prayers for the nation, victims of the recent Kaduna train attack, and the party. the riches of his grace receiving us from the powers of darkness and bringing us into the kingdom of his beloved almighty father you are lavish in bestowing all your gifts and we give you thanks for the favors you have given us. In your goodness you have favored us and kept us safe in the past. We ask that you continue to protect us as a nation and to shelter us in the shadow of your wings. O oh God, your people are represented here by all the ethnic groups and culture, by all people of religious persuasion. We are asking you this morning to heal the nation of our various ills, heal the nation of mediocrity, heal our nations of insecurity, heal our nations of corruption, heal our nations of bad rulers and the led. Heal our nations of ignorance. Heal our nations of disunity. For it is in unity that we will find strength. We pray that you give us your supporting hand in our new beginning as we glimpse the future, the unknown future, but a promising future. 10 to 14, I'm from the version of the Bible, NKJV. And I read, Now as Samuel was offering up the burnt offering, the Philistines drew near to battle against Israel. But the Lord thundered with a loud thunder upon the Philistines that day, and so confused them that they were overcome before Israel. And the men of Israel went out of Mizpah and pursued the Philistines and drove them back as far as below Betkar. Then Samuel took a stone and set it up between Mizpah and Shem and called its name Ebenezer, saying, Thus far the Lord has helped us. Thereafter, Plateau State Governor Simon Lalong addressed the gathering. He congratulated the new APC executives in River State for presenting a united front. I'm the chairman of the Northern Government. Hey! Okay. 
I beg, I beg, don't raise your hand up again. Our brother, oh, this man. I beg you, the man of the Lord of Northern Nigeria. He is somebody in whom we are very comfortable. Yeah. I also stand here Lasso. to represent Lasso. the Progressive Governors Forum. All the governors would have been here, Progressive Governors. But we were told that this is just a small takeoff from Rivers. And so they asked me to come and stand in for them. They asked me to come and stand in for them. For those of them who are not here, their spirits are always with us. Especially to our brother, the former director general, because the, the, the journey started from here. I am very excited today, because six years ago, when we started APC, we came to this stadium and we launched a zonal campaign. That zonal campaign produced a brand new president for this country. And he also led the campaign. We came back again. And they said, the only person that will lead the campaign again, it is an illustrious that guy with the carry of the up. The guy, the two of them. Uh, now. We hey. did another campaign uh, and we produce another president. Can, can up again. Uh, Today the APC government is striving. When we were told on television that there is no APC in River State, uh, I am sure what we have seen today, many people will not sleep in their houses. Uh, Some people will say we want to take it by force. In APC, we will not take it by force. We will consider the grace of God. And that is grace, that grace of God is the one that is working in Chuboke Amechi. Former national chairman of APC, Adams Oshomole commended the party for standing firm in spite of strong opposition in the state. Let me join all those who have spoken before me in appreciating and acknowledging the man who has invited us to join the good people of Labour State in prayers. Thanks to celebrate the unity of our party in this state and even more the great people of River State. I want to appreciate the honorable Minister of Transportation, my friend and my brother, who has extended to me and my family invitation to this great event. But I cannot appreciate him without appreciating the power behind him, behind every successful minister of transportation. There is a more minister at home. This is Chibuke Amechi. I appreciate my three brother. The only difference is that he wear my body guard and I wear my own khaki. As you can see, we have the same complexion. He wears a high cap in order to take, take one each advantage. Hey. Let me also appreciate the speaker, the deputy speaker, the authentic comrade, deputy speaker of the House of Representatives, who was once an activist in the university system, Honorable Wase. We have here a man who wears a clean white brilliant babadiga that depicts the purity of his heart. The 
distinguished Senator Indume. and to thank God for what he did to all of us and also to thank God for what will happen to us to thank God for what will come to us we will start here in rivers youths you go and interpret what I'm saying there is a there is a saying in our group we say in Hausa Zekasenche means it will happen no. It will happen no. APC Rivers Adumeka. Adumeka. Thank you so much. It is indeed an honor that this is APC River State. I know on behalf of the Ministry of Transportation, I bring you blessings, prayers, and congratulations. I know this is the beginning of the March for 2023. It starts here. It starts today. It starts now. In fact, it's finished. It's finished. We have done it. We are here to see, to celebrate God for the good thing we have in River State, for the unity of the party in River State. We are here to pray for God to receive the souls of all those who died in the train act banditry incident from Abuja to Kaduna. We are here to pray God that all those who are in cap captivity should be released. We thank God for today. I am here to solidarize with a brother and to bring you good message from the people of Southeast. We former speakers across the 36 states of this country. We are here to show solidarity to our brother and friend. The man who has kept us going, 
And as I speak, I speak also on behalf of the governor of Plateau State, who is also a former speaker. And we have very many here. We want to say to you that all former speakers, irrespective of political dispensation and political affiliations, we are with our brother. Because Rotimi and Meji Chibuke never discriminate against anybody. He is a man who believes in human being and believes in the welfare of all. So we must support him. We are here for Thanksgiving. We will be here again for a bigger Thanksgiving. That is a prophecy and it will come to pass in Jesus' name. The high point of speeches came when the party leader in the zone, Right Honorable Rutimi Amechi, who is also the Minister of Transportation, took the rostrum. He first went on a lap of honor around the stadium, acknowledging delegates from all local governments of the state. He titled his speech, Forward with Courage. In the first paragraph, Minister Amechi declared his interest to run for the office of president. Fellow Nigerians, I stand before you today to declare my intention and submit my application to serve as your next president. Listing his 23 years of public service in different capacities, Amechi acknowledged the challenges facing the country. He offered himself to lead the onerous task of taking Nigeria out of the woods. I have served our nation for the last seven years as Minister of Transportation. For eight years before that, I served as Governor of River State. In the preceding eight years before that, I was Speaker of the River State House of Assembly. Within this period, I have also served as the Director General of President Buhari Campaign Organization twice. These 23 years of service have equipped me not only with great experience in governance and public service, but also compassion for the ordinary citizens of our dear country. After more than two decades in the public arena, I had wanted to go on holiday and spend more time with my family before charting a new course outside politics. But at 56, because I'm 56 years old, I'm a member of the generation born after independence who has seen the good, the bad, and the ugly of Nigeria. I'm compelled by the urgency of our present challenges to place my experience and profit capacity at the service of the nation at the highest level. Those who know me can testify that I have always been a straight talker. This straight has not always made me popular. But I speak with truth, I speak the truth with conviction. So allow me to speak the truth here today. We are facing some very serious challenges as a country. These are problems of insecurity, challenges of greater accountability in governance, youth unemployment, and the scourge of spiral poverty. These problems are, however, not the exclusive preserve of Nigeria. We live in a troubled world. The reality we used to know has altered in nearly every nation. Climate change has brought about food scarcity, 
in some places, population explosion has produced unusual pressure on resources and supplies. Poverty has become a challenge all over the world, especially in the developing world. The COVID crisis has placed unanticipated burdens on the budget of nations and put pressure on available resources. Transborder crises have erupted in unusual places and placed the internal security of many nations under pressure. We are part of the Sahel, an area of the world that is subject to frequent terrorist attacks. Let us look at our current challenges as part and consequences of these global trends. I admit that Nigeria's problem did not begin today and they will not be solved overnight. But they are not beyond the capacity of our people to solve. Fortunately, that process has already started. There is an ancient proverb that a society, and I quote, a society that grows great when old men plant trees under whose shade they know they will never sit. The current administration under the able leadership of President Muhammad Buhari has planted many such trees in Nigeria's future. We have invested billions in infrastructure, human capital development, and made reforms that will pay off over time in terms of socioeconomic growth and stability. We have invested heavily in projects and initiatives that will secure a brighter, better future for Nigeria. I am proud to have been part of this success story. It has been an honor, honor overseeing the Ministry of Transportation in reviving the Moribon railways and working tirelessly to create an integrated national transportation system that will positively impact our economy, trade, employment, business, and national cohesion. Have we achieved everything we set out to do? Of course not. Could we have done more? Undoubtedly, there's always room for improvement. On reflection, the notion of running for president would have been far beyond the imagination of the young lad running around the streets of Cuba or our small company in Nubima. Not to talk of the young, indigent student leader, but blasting peers at the University of Port Harcourt. But my inspiration is not about fulfilling any personal ambition. I am contesting for the office because I believe that it is my moral duty to give what I can in the service of my country. Now that Amechi has declared to run for the presidency on the APC's banner, what really are his chances? There's no doubt, like he said, that it's going to be tough. But with the man Chubike wrote to me, Amechi, as a flag bearer, which I know that definitely all lines will fall for him at the end of the day in APC and all lines will also fall for him you know on the uh, election day proper we are Nigerians are going to determine their destinies and I'm sure that with God that he has always trusted with God that we have always trusted we have also always believed in him in the capacity that he has you can understand the man we are talking about the man who has respect for those who made him that man is Chibike Rotimi Amechi, 2023 president. For him, he will continue. Look at the railway revolution. Look at the road revolution. The Niger Bridge, what Fashola has done there. It's the same kind of thing we're talking about. Look at the border, Bonnie Road. These are roads that people thought would have been impossible. It's as difficult like uh, the top mainland bridge of uh, Lagos. And this administration of Buhari is doing it. We are also having what uh, the, the cleanup of Ogoni. Those are the things that Buhari government has come to do that Amechi will continue. Women in politics, giving opportunity to women. When he was a, a, a governor of River State, when he was in this state, a lot of women had political positions and they did very well. And also the youth had scholarships. We had scholarship and bursaries, and for education to flourish well, he has to replicate what he did when he was in university. Remember, he won the best UBE in Nigeria then. We were we were in the board of Universal Basic Education Board. So if he if he replicates that UBE standard in the federation, the real UBE, we will begin to see quality kind of graduates coming out from our schools. I mean, I'm happy, more happy than surprised, but. Um... 
of course, until it happens. My father said, you don't believe in your breakfast until you've eaten it. So, of course, we wanted to see the declaration live, which we have seen. But, you know, many people are celebrating and I'm happy and I'm celebratory as well. But now the work begins. There's a lot of work. We have to go around the length and breadth of the country, reaching out to people, preaching out to people. And um, that, I think, is um, something that the Roti is uh, that I know is very comfortable doing. Uh, so we'll be joining him on that uh, exercise. Of course, um, we have uh, interest in the state as well, but uh, we're going to have to mix both. There is a common saying, one with God is majority. Because he has divine backing, I already said, from across the nation, men will just align. And before you know it, what started like a small seed, yeah, I'm sure you were amazed at the crowd that turned out here today. A lot of people were wondering, where will the people come? People have even said there is no APC in River State, but you are here, you saw the crowd for yourself. Surely, the God of heaven who brought him here today will cause every other line to fall in place and the glory will be all his. And Nigeria will surely be better for it. Who can battle with the Lord? Who can battle with the Lord? Who can battle with the Lord? I Who can battle with the Lord? 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 Who can battle with the Lord?